Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous tutorials, we understood that to communicate with computer, many programming languages have been designed. They are low-level programming languages and high-level programming languages. Low-level programming languages are again divided into machine-level programming languages and assembly-level programming languages. High-level programming languages are again divided into general-purpose programming languages and specific-purpose programming languages. We understood what are machine level languages, assembly level languages. Here we are going to discuss general purpose programming languages and specific purpose programming languages. General purpose programming languages are those programming languages which are used to develop applications for variety of domains. Domain means area of application. C, C++, C Sharp, Java programming languages are considered as general purpose programming languages. Java is used to create applications for uh, desktop. Java is used to create web applications. Java is used to create mobile applications. Java is used to write codes for simulations, games. Java is used to write codes for devices. Java is used in wide and variety of places. Likewise, C Sharp also. Hence, we can say these programming languages are general purpose programming languages used for variety of domains, not for a specific domain. Specific purpose programming languages are those programming languages which are used to develop applications for specific domain. HTML, SQL, Prolog, Lisp, COBOL, JavaScript, ActionScript are considered as specific purpose programming languages. HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is used to create web pages. It is used to format web pages. We say that HTML is a formatting language for web pages. It is not used in many other domains actually. It is meant for a specific purpose. SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is specifically meant to query databases, to create databases. Prolog. Lisp. Prolog stands for programming logic. Lisp stands for list processing. Prolog and Lisp programming languages are meant for writing applications for artificial intelligence. COBOL. COBOL stands for common business oriented language. It is meant to write applications for business. JavaScript. It is a programming language meant to add behavior to web pages. ActionScript is a language used to create flash applications like animations, games. Actually, every, pro every programming language is meant for a specific purpose. But later, by finding their capabilities, they are converted to general purpose programming languages. Based on the way of solving problems, based on the way of coding, we can divide programming languages into different types like unstructured programming languages, structured programming languages or procedure oriented programming languages, object oriented programming languages and object based programming languages. We are going to discuss about the difference between these different types of programming languages over here. Unstructured programming languages are programming languages where entire application is written in a single unit. That means an entire problem is solved by using a single block of a code. In structured programming languages or procedure oriented programming languages, entire application is divided into smaller units called as procedures. Hence, structured programming languages are also known as procedure oriented programming languages. Whereas in object oriented programming languages, entire application is divided into smaller units called as entities, objects. As in unstructured programming languages, entire application is written in a single unit, it is very difficult to code, modify, debug and test the application features or application functionalities. If you come to structured programming languages, as entire application is divided into smaller units called as procedures, each procedure is meant to solve a specific task. It is quite easy to code, modify, debug and test. Because we can independently test each procedure, whether each procedure is working properly or not. As we can divide the things into smaller uni units, it is very easy to test those small, small units. As in object-oriented programming languages, entire application is divided into smaller units called as entities or objects a self-contained entities or self-contained objects, it is very easy to code, modify, debug and test. 
we can individually test the functionalities and behaviors of each entities. It is quite easy. Unstructured programming languages follow linear approach for solving a problem. That means entire problem is taken in and uh, it is going to be solved step by step linearly from top to down. Whereas procedure oriented programming languages follow top down approach or top down strategy for solving a problem. That means a complete problem or a larger problem is taken in and then to solve that problem as and when step by step the procedures are created or the tasks are converted to the procedures and those procedures are added to the main procedure to solve the problem a larger application to smaller procedures whereas object oriented programming languages follow bottom up approach for solving a problem or bottom up strategy to solve the problem that means first entities each independent entities are created and those entities are made interacted and then the problem is solved or and then the application is created unstructured programming languages emphasize on how to solve problem structured programming languages emphasize on procedure to solve problems they concentrate on how to solve problem whereas object oriented programming languages emphasize on how to manage data how to represent the data how to secure data how to give different level of access to data so object oriented programming languages mainly concentrate on data whereas structured programming languages mainly concentrate on how to solve a problem unstructured programming languages are normally not going to have any data types hence unstructured programming languages are untyped programming languages in structured programming languages we find variety of data types hence structured programming languages are typed programming languages we don't find object oriented features available in structured programming languages or procedure oriented programming languages like class objects abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism dynamic binding such features we don't find in structured programming languages whereas if you come to object oriented programming languages we find variety of data types hence object oriented programming languages are typed programming languages also we find object oriented programming features like class objects abstraction in encapsulation inheritance polymorphism dynamic binding message passing such different advanced features we find in object oriented programming language also in object oriented programming languages we can be able to create abstract data types in unstructured programming languages we don't find any data abstraction abstraction means uh, hiding unnecessary information from the user or providing only necessary information to the user is known as abstraction there is no data abstraction in unstructured programming languages every data is globally available anybody can access the data whereas when you come to structured programming languages we find less data abstraction that means in structured programming languages we find local scope and global scope of a variable scope stands for accessibility where we can access which variable there are local scope and global scope variables which are in global scope can be accessed anywhere whereas uh, variables which are in local scope are accessed within the local procedure if you come to object oriented programming languages we find more data abstraction that means we have more control over level of access of data we have local scope class level scope object level scope package level scope application level scope application level scope variables can be accessed throughout the application whereas package level scope variables are accessed only within the package so we have more data abstraction in object oriented programming languages in unstructured programming languages we find very high coupling and very low cohesion coupling means dependency of code whereas if you come to structured programming languages we find more coupling less cohesion we find in structured programming languages more dependency more redundancy and uh, we find less unity in uh, structured programming languages if you come to object oriented programming languages we find less coupling more cohesion we find less dependency more uniformity which reduces the redundancy and uh, helps us to code easily unstructured programming languages has uh, less flexibility less extensibility and less maintainability whereas structured programming languages help us to create applications which are quite flexible extensible 
and maintainable. Whereas object oriented programming languages help us to create applications which are more flexible, more extensible and more maintainable. As applications written in object oriented programming languages has less coupling and more cohesion, it is uh, very easy to maintain and programs or applications are flexible and extensible. Unstructured programming languages are not suitable for complex applications. It is uh, not suitable to create complex applications. Whereas structured programming languages are suitable to create moderately complex applications. That means a uh, little bit less complex applications we can create by using structured programming languages. Whereas object oriented programming languages are suitable to create any complex applications. Basic is a example programming language for unstructured programming language and unstructured programming languages are going to be quite similar to low level languages. Structured programming languages or procedure oriented programming languages example is a C programming language and C++, C Sharp, Java, ActionScript are example programming languages for object oriented programming languages. Object based programming languages also we have where entire application is divided into smaller units called as prototypes. Prototypes are quite similar to procedures in structured programming languages. Prototypes are meant to solve specific tasks. Object based programming languages are also follow top down approach. In object based programming languages, objects are created by using prototypes. Whereas in object oriented programming language, objects are created by using classes. In object based programming languages, we don't find object oriented programming concepts like we don't find classes, we don't find abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, dynamic binding, such features we do not find in object based programming languages. Whereas in object oriented programming languages we find object oriented features. You can think like object based programming languages are quite similar to structured programming languages or procedure oriented programming languages but we can be able to create objects by using prototypes whereas we cannot be able to create objects in uh, structured programming languages. Object based programming languages are weakly typed or sometimes strongly typed. Weakly typed means we need not to write to create variables and we need not to write data types. Strongly typed means we must and should write data types to create variables or constants. JavaScript is a programming language, one of the good example programming language for object based programming language. Now I hope you guys have understood what are general purpose programming language and what are specific purpose programming language. General purpose programming languages are meant to, to develop applications for variety of domains. Specific purpose programming languages are meant to develop applications for specific domain. Unstructured programming languages concentrate on how to solve problem. Entire problem is solved by using a single unit. Whereas uh, structured programming languages concentrate on how to solve problems where entire problem is divided into small small tasks. Whereas object oriented programming languages concentrate on data, how to manage data and entire application is divided into smaller entities or objects. Structured programming languages follow top down approach, object oriented programming languages follow bottom up approach. Object oriented programming languages are you can think like structured programming language plus object oriented features added to them. That's it. So hope you guys have understood the different things. For this tutorial this much is enough friends. For more benefits please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. See you in the next tutorial.